This is Doofy McBetterscotch, and we have returned to James Earl Jones. We've already done Field of Dreams and Summersby, so we're going to skip those. So we're going to get right to sneakers. Well, it's not about sneakers that you put on your feet. It's actually about sneakers as in sneaking around and finding things. So it also has Robert Redford in it. And, uh, of course, James Earl Jones plays a small role, as usual. And it's one of those typical spy movies. It's mainly about, uh, Robert Redford and him sneaking around and getting shit. It's one of those, like, uh, Mission Impossible films. So it's, it doesn't have anything unique about it whatsoever except that it's about an old spy instead of a young one and that's about it so there's nothing real special about sneakers it's still a pretty good flick but there's nothing original about it three fugitives is uh, a crime and drama or not crime and drama crime and comedy film it's got nick nolte and a few other people it as you can tell i have totally fucking forgot what it was about and if that isn't a clue that should tell you that it's not really that memorable of a film to begin with I mean I've got a pretty good knowledge of what most of these films are but when I come across a film that I don't even fucking remember anything about you know it's not really that great you know it's a skippable thing so three fugitives skip Conan the Barbarian. Now, uh, let's see. I think this was the second Conan film. Or first. I, I'm not sure. But the Conan movies are mainly about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they're pretty good. I mean, it's got this muscular guy going around beating the shit out of uh, these bad guys who are way over exaggerated they've got like powers they can use magic it's like it's a fantasy element and you know I always mostly I'm not gonna say always because they can fuck up the fantasy genre but for the most part I prefer fiction over reality now all films are works of fiction but some of them base themselves on actual situations. Like, sneakers might actually happen, but there's no way in fucking hell that Conan the Barbarian will ever happen anytime soon or ever. But I like those films more because they're interesting. But I like it. But I'm not going to say thumbs up because I did that too many fucking times in the last video. So I'm just going to give this one a nod of approval. The Sandlot. Now, this is a movie meant for kids, and if you watched it when you were a kid, you probably thought it was pretty good. But when you watch it when it, when you're an adult, like me, it's uh, not as great. Not horrible, but it would have been a lot better if I would have watched it when I was a kid rather than watch it when I'm in my twenties. So The Sandlot. I mean, it's not a terrible film, but it's basically about baseball and adding a children's element to the whole thing and of course James Earl Jones plays a small role. Sandlot is mostly about all these kids playing baseball and their little mess adventures and it eventually ends up in them getting a ball knocked into a backyard of a vicious dog and a really mean neighbor and they make up a whole bunch of shit there so it's it's decent. It's far better than some of the other shit that I've had to watch, but it, it is a children's movie, so that might affect your opinion on it. Anyway, James Earl Jones! Every single film here is not very memorable for having James Earl Jones, because he doesn't really... The, the thing about James Earl Jones is he is far better as a voice actor than he is as an actual actor. I mean, I've seen some movies where he is the main character, and they are not good. They are 
awful beyond belief. I mean, there are some actors that are just destined to never be the front runner, and that's James Earl Jones. He's he's a voice actor all the way. Mufasa, Darth Vader, he will always be known for those people, or not people, because neither of them are actually people. They are cartoons. One's a cartoon. One is a character dressed up in a bunch of armor and shit. But he is far better known for those two characters than any of these roles here. I mean, no one would look at any of these movies and say, oh, hey, that's the movie with James Earl Jones in it. No, I mean, most people completely fucking forget he is actually in these movies. So, his voice is awesome, but his acting, not so much. Tommy Lee Jones. Now, this is one of my favorite actors ever. I became an instant fan of his when I started watching the Men in Black series, which is directly below. So we're going to get started right on those. Men in Black is a classic beyond belief. It is absolutely amazing. I recommend it so much. I mean, if you have not seen Men in Black, you're missing out on some of the gr some of the good movies out there. I mean, there are, believe me, 98% of the movies that are out there on the market are shit. They're complete shit, and only about 2% of movies are actually fucking watchable. All the other 98% are shit. It's either terrible films or it's just the same fucking plot rehashed over and over and over and over and over again until you fucking get sick of it. So there's only about 2% of films that are actually fucking good, and this is in that percentage of really awesome films. Men in Black is just so amazing. So many good actors in there. I mean, Will Smith in his prime, Tommy Lee Jones in his prime playing Agent K. It is such a classic movie. You, it's quotable. And it's got some of the most memorable things in it ever. I mean, the main villain is a giant cockroach. Nobody ever fucking did that before. That's totally a brand new originality. It's based on a comic that not a lot of people know about. But it's absolutely amazing. And I can't say enough good things about it. Men in Black 2 is also an amazing film. They continue the tradition. I'm not going to say it's as memorable as Men in Black, the first one, but Men in Black 2 is also an amazing film. It's really great. And I think Men in Black 3, it was released way, way, way after this book came out, but it's still a pretty darn good movie. Uh, the Men in Black series is pretty darn good. And uh, if you haven't seen them, you got to see them. They're pretty good. They get three thumbs up from Doofy McButterscotch. The two thumbs I have, and I probably would have to borrow the thumb of, the, of another person, just to show how much I like Men in Black. It's all good. The Fugitive, oh, we already did that. Batman Forever, oh, let's see, we already did that one too. JFK, already did that. Double Jeopardy, okay. We're not going to have much time to talk about this one, but we're going to try to make it quick. Alex Trebek is not in this movie, but... The, it's about double jeopardy and the fact that there are laws that exist solely for the reason of bullshit. It's, uh, it's a law that makes no fucking sense at all, and they make a whole movie about it to show how fucking stupid it is. But they make it really awesome. It's got Tommy Lee Jones playing basically the same role he played in The Fugitive, except he's doing it again in Double Jeopardy. And he, it's amazing. Tommy Lee Jones is a really great actor, and I, this, I, it's a good movie. It's an, it would have just been an average shit movie without Tommy Lee Jones, but because it had Tommy Lee Jones, it made it into a good movie, which is great. It's awesome. Double Jeopardy! Yeah! Two nods of approval. Now, oh, we're running out of time, so we won't get to talk about any of the other films, so see you later.